Dear Diary, I am 12 years old and my name is Elizabeth Blackwell. My father just sent us over from a ship from Bristol, England, where I was born. There have been mobs there, so we decided to get a fresh living here in New York. This is my story. I love New York. It's been several months and it's perfect. I couldn't have dreamed of anything better than this. Lizzie, my darling. Yes, father. I have some news. What's what's wrong? Nothing is the matter. I just have some news that we will be leaving for Cincinnati, Ohio. And why must we do that, father? We have everything we could possibly imagine here. The economy is faltering, and for us to be successful, we shall start a sugar beet fa fa factory in Ohio. But father, is are we okay? Everything is fine. One door closes, the other door opens. Father, may you rest in peace. May you always look down at us from the heavens and see the things that we have done because of you, because of the way you have given us education when we weren't allowed to, and I will always be grateful for that. I love you. Oh, Elizabeth, I just don't know what we are going to do. Nine mouths to feed. I just don't know how we're gonna make it. <clears throat> mother, mother, it's okay. We don't have father, but we can still do it, okay? Well, what will we do? Well, well, Mary and I, we, w we will teach. We will teach till next, and yes, we will. We will tutor. We will tutor everyone. We can do this, Mother. Don't worry. Mother, it's okay. Okay, okay. I didn't let my mom down. I worked with my sister from night's ends, teaching classes of piano, and French, it was something I had to do. Hello, Father. Today, something amazing happened. My best friend came to me telling me a story, a, a horrific story that happened to her that had to do with the doctor. And now I have decided that this will never happen to women again. So I am going to become a doctor. And I will achieve that by studying nightly and going to college. Father, I am forever grateful of you and I love you so much. Let's see what happens. I myself to 29 different colleges and not getting accepted into a single one because I was a woman. Geneva College finally accepted me. Dear Mother, I am writing you from college. I just wanted to keep you updated on what has been going on here. Well, just a few days ago I found out I was only accepted because I was a joke, because they wanted to play along with what they thought was a joke. I'm so infuriated that I just, I just turned to my work. I hope to earn them all the respect I deserve. So I'm going to study and work as hard as I possibly can to prove them all wrong that I am no joke. And being the only woman in, their, in the class and the college, studying in a medical degree, I graduated. Hello darling, what's the matter? My eye has been bothering me for some time and I don't think that I can see out of it. Would you mind taking a look? All right, dear, let me take a quick look, an examination. Hold on, let me get a better view. Oh no, 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 oh no. Dear, you have something something called pulmonary ablant optimum it, it, oh no. 
What's wrong? What's the matter? It's a highly, it's a highly contagious, eye infectious disease, and I think it's spread into my eye. I can't see a thing out of it. Oh goodness. All right, darling. I'm just an intern, so let me let me go get the fellow. I cannot see out of my left eye. I've gone blind. This makes me not a capable surgeon. I believe that I should open a clinic and start my own practice because I'm not able to be a surgeon and that was my dream. <sighs> Hello, I was wondering if I could rent from you. I'm a, I'm a female doctor. I'm sorry, we don't rent to doctors, women doctors here. But sir, but sir. Welcome today. My name, My name is Elizabeth Blackwell, and I'm here to talk to you about the cleansiness of our hospitals and the environments we are working medically in. My name is Elizabeth Blackwell, and I'm here today to talk to you about equality and how women and men need to be equal. Kitty! Ah, uh, yes, dear. Sit down, please. Sit down. My daughter, I just want to tell you... I'm older now, and... I have a message to all women like you that I would like you to spread around to never let it go. I know my time left on Earth is short now, but I want to tell you something. I want to tell all women something. Never give up. Never let people see your weakness or else they will make you become your weakness. Always strive for what you can get and never settle for less. You are a woman. You are strong and independent. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Don't let anyone make you different. Be true to yourself and never give up. 